you know, where do you draw the line, the distinction between what is a security and what is an actual currency? You know, example A, what Ripple did, selling XRP to build out its underlying blockchain network. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. What's up XRP fam? What's up Crypto Ghost? It's the Bagman, the Moon Commander, back on the spaceship, chilling up here on Mothership 589. How's everybody doing out there? Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing the likes for some more Moon O'Clock News. No breakfast, no coffee, just straight extra, extra foolishness. Go ahead and throw on those pilot shades, buckle up, and let's go full speed, full throttle into the cryptoverse. We got the total global cryptocurrency market cap up about 1% today, just around 2 trillion. XRP still in that number six spot, hovering around 80 cents, down about 5% in the past seven days, up about 1.5% in the past hour. Monica Long says, pump for the stasis net to bring its leading euro stable coins to the XRP ledger. Stable coins have existed on the XRPL since 2012, 2013, providing easy on and off ramps for devs to use the OG DEX for hyper efficient liquidity. Ripple will provide the technical support necessary to integrate the largest zero backed stable coin with the XRP ledger. All roads lead to the bridge asset crawl walk, then we rock it. James Rue XRP, XRP Community. Jay Clayton is a Fireblocks Advisory Board member, 2021. The tie-up is a natural, said Fireblocks CEO Michael, noting that the two firms have been working together on various payment-related use cases since 2019. XRP researcher says, lock them up. At Goop, Goop, ultimate devil's type advocate question. Wow, should I ask this? <laughs> this this comes from a banker in my Patreon group. He wanted to know if you were working for the SEC, how would you fight this case? I thought the question was just, are you working for the SEC? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay. Well, yes, okay. If I'm working for the SEC, you know, I, they honestly do not, they do not have a bad strategy right now. If you are an SEC attorney in this case, what you're trying to do is you're trying to frame it in the exact same way that Judge Torres has seen these cases framed before when she's ruled on behalf of the SEC. So you're trying to keep it really simple. And here's what you're going to do. You're going to just go to the judge and you're going to get all the evidence you can, of course. But what you're going to do is you're going to say, judge, when these people bought XRP, the only use for it or the only use cases were something that Ripple had developed. Otherwise, it was just a, uh, an inert you know, uh, a piece of ledger on a, on a computer, judge. And so they were absolutely looking to Ripple to increase the value of the XRP. It's simple. And what you're going to try to do is you're going to try to downplay the fair notice defense. And what they're going to say is they're going to say, we've had the Howey test since 1934. It's clear what it what it requires. It's clear what the four parts of the test is. We learned this in our first year of law school, how to read these tests. There's no reason that Ripple couldn't have read these tests back in 2013. And we are not required as the SEC to go to every uh, token holder or to every uh, a company that's involved with cryptocurrencies and explain to them what the law is and whether they are in violation or not, because there's 10,000 of them. And that's technically that's just impossible to do. So you're going to keep the uh, Section 5 violation simple. You're just going to say, look, this is just a run of the mill. Were they looking to ripple for profit or not? Judge, they absolutely are looking to ripple for profit. And you're going to say, I don't have to explain to them whether they're in violation of the law or not. That's not my job as a regulator. I'm the police. If someone breaks the law, I arrest them and I take them to jail. I'm not out there explaining to them what jaywalking is. So that's going to be the SEC's position. And that's basically what I think they're doing. I think that's what they're trying to do. What we don't know is how much evidence they have to back that up. But that will 100 percent be how they're going to approach the case. XRP Crypto Wolf Ripple Partner MasterCard is going on a hiring spree in the crypto and services push. Welcome to the mass adoption of cryptocurrency. Bank XRP linked to a sold out of the Ripple shares. Demand for the Ripple Labs Inc. equity has been notably high in the recent weeks as developments in the XRP lawsuit could give Ripple the upper hand against the SEC. Eleanor Terrett today, Gary Gensler told Fox Business that the SEC determines what qualifies as a security based on laws written by Congress in the 1930s. How is today's technology supposed to fit inside a regulatory framework written nearly a century ago? U.S. security laws are due for a makeover. And this is this is potentially well, huge. Um, I know the market's up today. It's taken a breather. And I know AMC is off its lows. It was as low as 15 or $14 a share. It's at 18, 19 now. Uh, but it's down 80% from its highs. And if it goes down to $10, $10 a share, which it really could if the Fed starts tightening, if it does 50 basis points, people are going to say, 
Where was the investor protection? And I'll tell you, these esoteric things, I mean, did Ripple's unregistered XRP really hurt anybody? No. Well, Charlie, no. Charlie, hold on, hold on. The, the one thing that I, I thought was, was really important here, number one, uh, I, I did try very hard to push him on what is the difference between what Ether well, Ethereum he is that. and versus that's, that's Ripple pathetic. XRP. You know, that's so and they do that. that he, Liz, that is so pathetic he punted on that. He is taking a case that he was handed by Jay Clayton, the, the SEC chair under, under, under Trump. He's pushed it forward as aggressively or more aggressively than Jay Clayton did. Mm -hmm. It has literally what was done on Ripple is not that much contextually or materially different than what Ether did. Okay. Why is one okay and not the other? It's it's mind boggling. Well, I, I, I this is all a show to shake you out of that bridge asset, the interoperable one. SEC don't want you with those utility bags. Charles Gasprino says, interesting takeaway from the Gary Gensler talk. He wouldn't comment on the SEC's gov, generally doesn't comment on investigations, which means maybe they are weighing on an Ether case. Crypto Eddie, 29 seconds of body language. The blink rate tends to increase when people are thinking more or feeling stressed. Sniffing indicates displeasure. Lips pressed together tightly because you are thinking hard or angry. Tongue over lips. Getting ready. Or buyer beware element to all of the stock market. What confuses a lot of people, Gary, and if you could really clarify here, is... You know, where do you draw the line, the distinction between what is a security and what is an actual currency? You know, example A, what Ripple did, selling XRP to build out its underlying blockchain network, no different than example B, Ethereum floating an ICO. <laughs> Gary. James Rowe XRP, we're heading against the U.S. inflation and the FSB is calling it a threat funded by the Bank for International Settlements, the umbrella group for central banks. Crypto could derail financial stability, Global Financial Watchdog says. Fed improvements, the Financial Stability Board has proposed quantitative targets for improving cross-border payments. Read more on defining these goals across wholesale, retail, and remittance markets. All roads lead to the bridge asset. Crypto tells New York Stock Exchange hints at NFT trading in latest filing. A recent trademark following has revealed that the NYSE's plans for operating an NFT marketplace similar to OpenSea. Alt Season. JD says Alt Season hasn't even begun yet. Are you guys ready? I hope you got those bags packed. To the Moon. Time Travel. The Golden Ticket. Maybe we need to watch The Mass Singer. David Schwartz says how much carbon dating should a scientist do? before they're ready for a carbon marriage. Carbon marriage to the moon. XRP still, XRP is only one part of the new financial system. ISO 222 will be the new standard for the financial payments from November, 2022. Not financial advice, but make sure you have a bag of all the main coins before the switch over. XRP, XLM, XDC, ADA, HBAR, Quant, Algo, IOTA, Check out the Ripple podcasts are all about blockchain podcast features, industry experts discussing the latest in the emerging tech from fintech sustainability to adoption in supply chain and more. Head to the full library, pick the topic of your choice and dive in all about blockchain Ripple's university blockchain research initiative. Check out the Ripple podcast. Riddler is always 589 steps ahead. Standard custody is proud to be joining the leading U.S. crypto exchanges and trust, an industry-driven solution to comply with the travel rule while preserving the security and privacy of institutional customers. Mr. Pool, trust. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, quick update on Ledger City here. We got four days away until registration goes live. Be on the lookout for that. The first release of Ledger City will be available April 20th or 20, 2022. And look out for some of the features, NFT art galleries, community spaces, building interiors, larger object representations, content creator, combat, racing, esports, missions, storylines, and much, much more. I am the XRP Bagman. I'll see you inside Ledger City, currently up here on the mothership, stuffing some bags Big and enjoying bags. the show. Appreciate you stopping by, tuning in, smashing those likes for some more.
Moon O'Clock News. Hope y'all continue to stay extra, extra bullish out there. Continue holding those good vibes. Remember to sell the FUD, buy up that bag, and don't forget to spread that liquid love. Peace out, crypto fam. Welcome to the party.